Hi people, how are you? Today I bring you Obsidian. It's the last book in the trilogy, The Illuminati Files, and it's written, as always, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Christoph. And I have to say that the last book is so good. I have loved the last book as much as I did the first one. And I have to say that I'm pretty happy to say that the story is so perfect, it's so wrong, everything is connected, everything makes sense at the end. And it's, it's amazing, I have to say honestly that I have loved this trilogy. It's been like a wild ride because the way in which it's written and that you have the different reports, military reports, surveillance reports, and, and you have also the, the fragments with the Aidan intelligence and the different chats and conversations and there is also drawings and, and things like that. All of this has been like an amazing way and you also have like comics written by written and drawn by Mary Lou. And I have to say that this way of telling a story and you have different notes and for me it's been amazing. I can say I have never read anything like this, not only because of the story but also in the way in which it's explained it. And I have to say that I'm completely in love with this collaboration between Amy and Jay. And this book, this trilogy, it's been something that for me has been amazing and one of the best books that I have read not only in this year but probably in all my life, I can say. I have to say that in this book we are going to find the resolution of everything that's going on in the previous two books. And if you remember the first books, we have this trial in which they are, uh, there is a jury and they are going against uh, Biotech because they are saying that they did something illegal, that they did something on Carenza. And uh, we have this, this interlock with the Illuminati files. In this book we are going to see what these are exactly, we knew, but we are going to see how they came to be and why and we are going to find like the final battle between the survivors and the biotech goons and we are going to know how everything ends. So for me it's been amazing and sometimes when you are reading a trilogy you are scared because you're afraid that the last book doesn't sum up all the action and all the things but in this case I have to say that the, this last book it's really like the crown of the story because everything, as I say, makes sense and the story is uh, explained and closed in a satisfactory way. I was never thinking, okay, that doesn't make sense or anything like that because everything, it's so connected, it's so well writing, it's so well explained, everything makes sense at the end and yeah, I love these books. As always with the previous reviews that I did for the two previous Illuminae books, the Illuminae and Gemina, I'm not going to explain much because one of the main things about these books is that they surprise you in every turn because there is lots of actions that you are not expecting. But we are going to find the characters from the two previous books and we are going to find that they are more or less friends. We have Caddy, we have Hannah, we have Nick, Ezra, Ella and all the people from the battleships and spaceships and all the, ship, the, the people that survived. We are going to have most of the action going on on Kerenza, uh, the survivors of, from the first, of, sorry, the survivors of the first attack, the bio attack. And we are going to, to see how life is from, of, for us, sorry. I, I'm trying to say so many things at the same time that it's like, phew. We are going to see how the survivors are living their life and what it means for them to be oppressed and under the thumb of biotech. And we are going to find new characters that are going to be like pivotal in this story and we're going to see so many things. It's, it's amazing. I have to say that I have been surprised how, how well all this matching works and obviously we're going to see Aidan, which is by far my favorite character and he isn't even alive. He's an artificial intelligence, but he's amazing. I have to say that all the characters in this in this trilogy and in this book are so well rounded and so perfect. They never go outside of, of the realm of the, what's real. I mean, they are very coherent with themselves and they grow and they mature and they do lots of things, but they are the same people they were when we found them in the first books, only that um, they are survivors and they have all this stress and they have all these things that are just uh, in their lives now and, and, and it's amazing to see how far they have become without betraying who they were in the beginning, that's amazing. And I have to say the world building is amazing. I love that we get to see in this book more about Kirenza and about what happened in the planet and what the survivors are doing. I love the idea of the resistance and I love everything this story has to tell. 
really, uh, as you can see, I have like tons of things I want to say and tons of things I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil the book for you. But we are going to find a very dark book because there is a lot of things going on. This is war. This is uh, the result of people fighting each other, of people losing the humanity, of people killing just because they have been told that they have to control a situation and the situation escapes of their control and they began forgetting what being human are. And we are going to find that in war not everyone wins. Uh, we are going to find mutinies, we are going to find lots of things. This book is very real, that's something that I love about these books. It's not all like happy endings and perfection. We are going to lose people, we are going to see horrible things that happen in war. Uh, we are going to find a lot of criticism about that thing, about war, about people just being told they have to do things, about how sometimes people are expendable in war. Uh, we are going to find lots, lots, and lots of things that we are going to be hurt when we are reading and we are going to have to think very strongly about our positions in this book. It's not an easy read. It is because it's a very fun way in which it's explained. It's very visual. It's very powerful. But it's not easy in the fact that it makes you think about what it's being human, what it entails, and what we will do to survive. So it's a very powerful trilogy. It's amazing. As I said before, if you like a space opera, if you like a sci-fi, if you like dark stories, if you like stories about survival with uh, artificial intelligence that somehow, some way, began to be more... <laughs> more... <laughs> Well, you know how Aiden was in the first book, he was, a, he was kind of a psychotic <laughs> killer or something like that, but he began to see more in himself and we are going to see more in, about himself in this book, how he began uh, to destroy parameters and become more human or have a conscience, if that's possible. If, if you like books that keep you on the each of your seat and you cannot put them down because you need to know what's going on, Pick these ones because they, they are amazing. I mean, yeah, I love this trilogy. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this review is a bit beep. <laughs> Bye.